Hi, my name is Keisha. Welcome back to my channel. Um, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. You see her back there? I made her last night. She cute. Um, <laughs> um, the video on how I construct, how I um, customize that wig should be up before this one. Alright, so I'm just going to stick my edges back. Because I was going to do like a whole slick down on my hair, but one, I don't want that much gel in my hair because I don't know exactly how long I'll be keeping the wig on. And you know I'm doing the whole like healthy hair journey and everything. So I want to make sure that I keep my hair moisturized, which is why I'm a little oil in it. So I just want to make sure I do everything possible to keep my hair moisturize under protective styles um i just want to make sure that i'm not having like crunchy dry hair under these units or whenever i get the chance to have braids under the braids like so yeah 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 i'm gonna stick my edges back i'm gonna use the got to be glued i need to get another one of these because hoo 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 i'm running out and I'm just using it around my edges. So now I'm gonna take this brush that I stole from my mother a long time ago. So I wouldn't know where to tell you to get it. And just brush my edges back. Do 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 do. <laughs> Ugh. I'm gonna put my bronzer on the lace and I'm gonna just do it without a cap on. First off, this hair is from Bayani. Bay. Bayani. Bayani collection. Bayani. I don't. <laughs> I just don't remember if there's a collection after it or not. Um. But I ordered some of their lace tip too, so that's on the way. So that's cool. And I'm basically focusing it on like the perimeter and like where my part will be at. All right, let's pop this sucker back on. It fits pretty good though. I like my wigs a little bit more loose because if they're tight, like I can't handle tight things on my head like <laughs> I just can't do it so I'm gonna get to get to lay it I think I'm gonna lay it all down first and then do the ear tabs um because I would much rather have more ear tab than I need than like cut too much off and now like I gotta finesse it because this hairline let me, let me angle myself like This hairline looks too good for me to have to finish the ear tabs. So I'm going to do um, the free spray all over. This is where it gets real because my installs don't be that good for real. Like I'm like there's no need <laughs> there's no need to lie about it like my installs do not be that good like they really don't but we're gonna try all right here we go and i'm spraying like on the hairline of the wig yeah that's what i'm doing Wow, I can actually pull, look, 
Can you tell, like, I, I don't have good luck with wigs for real, like, not all of them at least. Like, some of them, some of them, some of them have done me justice, but like, the others, the others have caused traumatic, tra traumatic, have caused trauma. Push it. We pushing the hair back and we pushing the lace into the skin. At least I think that's what I'm doing. That sounds about right. You know, my mom took the time out her morning to make breakfast for everybody. What are you, hello, what are you opening the door? Who is this? Why are you just opening my door? I have things on the, on the back of my door. Huh? Hi. <laughs> Can you leave? Nice. Huh? I hate you, girl. Alright, I'll be down in a little bit. Alright, so my mom took the time to prepare breakfast, so I can't like not go down there just because I'm filming. So I'm gonna take this elastic band. I got it, it, it comes like this. I'm pretty sure I got this off Amazon too, like a bunch of elastic bands because I thought I was gonna be wait, making wigs for people, but like. <laughs> so I'm gonna just take this because I've been seeing uh, people use elastic bands to like lay their wigs down. And I want to try it and see how much different it is from like just using a regular scarf. I mean, it's still just as difficult to tie down. Dang. This is why I'm bald headed. This right here. I'm not bald. But I'm going to go eat with my family. And I'm going to be back after I eat. That gives us enough time to melt. So, I'll be back. I'm back! This joint is tight, it hurts. So I'm gonna untie it. I put it in a knot, cause I'm stupid. So what I'm gonna do, <laughs> just cut it off. I feel all the blood circulating back into my head. <laughs> That's a crazy feeling, boy. Anyway, so we can go ahead and start to cut the lace off. Um, a trick that I have seen and learned is to cut the lace off in sections. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lift it first. And I'm going to do... Oh, I have the wrong shoes. I stole these things and forgot I'm using them. Boop, boop, boop. I think I want to do this in two. I'm going to do one in the middle. One over here. So I got like four sections. So I'm gonna start cutting the lace, and when I cut it, I'm gonna do a zigzag motion. So now I see where my ear tap gonna be at. You dig? Um, so I'm gonna cut off 
my ear tab and I'm gonna follow I'm gonna comb this hair up so I won't cut extra hair off because that would be devastating so I'm gonna part the hair make sure I make a specific like okay this is where I'm gonna cut off and make sure I make sure that that little piece of hair is in the clip and then I'm gonna cut my ear tag off So I'm going to take the alcohol and just clean up My energy is going down I'm going to take this little spray bottle It just has water in it My eyes are messing Jeez <laughs> um, I just need to like reactivate the glue So I'm going to just Wet it a little bit And then it hides all of the um, lace that had lifted. So I'm gonna just wet it all over everywhere. So I wet that down. And because I'm extra, I'm gonna take some of my gotta be glue on the end of my rat tail. Wow, I really need to get some more of this. And just go through and smooth the lace down. And I always miss when my ear tabs last. So you see, I haven't touched my ear tabs again. And I'm gonna get another piece of elastic and secure that around my head. And then I'm gonna let y'all, I'm gonna wash my hands, first of all. Then I'm gonna let y'all watch while I do my makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and prime with my Milk Hydra Grip. Before I like do my makeup, I'm gonna take this Fenty powder from Banana, dab it on my hand, then put it all over the areas where I get oily. So, yep. So all over my T-zone, forehead and eyebrow. That kind of thing. It's cute, real cute, you know? Even real Casper, you feel me? Okay. And for foundation, I'm gonna take my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in Y445. This is an e.l.f. sponge. I really like um, well, I usually wet it down with setting spray, but I feel like I'm running low on setting spray, so we're just going to dampen it with water. <laughs> I really like e.l.f.'s brushes and sponges. They're actually, like, really good, so. And they're not expensive, so that's cool. So this is basically my everyday, like, when I, when I do wear makeup, um, this is what I do, like, this is my little routine. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in medium dark 
it's like so crazy they orange. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm gonna take that to conceal. I'm also, where did I put it? Oh, so I'm also gonna take this e.l.f. Um, hydrating Camo Concealer. This is in medium beige and it's a bit lighter. And I'm gonna pop that like right on the corner on the inside on top of my um, NARS. Now, sometimes I do double up concealer, but I've never done like this particular thing before. I just try to get disclaimers because I'm like, oh, this is what I do every day, and like not this specific. <laughs> I think I'm only gonna like heavy highlight on my um, eyes because that's just what I decided to do. I'm gonna take this tiny, teeny tiny concealer, um, this teeny tiny sponge. This is another e.l.f. one. It comes in like a trio. So yeah, you can get like trio sponges from e.l.f. So that's what this is. And I'm gonna start with my chin and my lip because I'm not too worried about you know how highlighted that is because like it's just not the places that people focus on like people focus on like under the eyes so I definitely let that dry down a little bit um I learned that from Jackie I know and I let the bridge in my nose fit a little bit but I definitely do my eyes last Make sure my stuff is folded out. And I'm gonna take that same banana by Fenty and press that under my eye. So I used to hate like overusing setting powder. I don't know what's been going on these last few times. I've been doing my makeup, but like. I've been dousing myself in setting powder. So I also have a Real Techniques brush. I've been trying to like get into uh, more into like the drugstore. Like uh, brands and look in, into more drugstore um what you gonna call it what's it called uh brushes and stuff like that and they be hit i'm not even gonna lie to you they go crazy so i'm gonna go ahead and bronze i'm gonna take an angle brush to put my bronzer on and this is caramel cute by fenty beauty See how it looks like a sharp line? We're gonna fix that. Or we won't. Like, why make any promises? This is when you take your beauty blender and you go in and you blend that mess out because that is a line. This is the Fenty Beauty Powder in Honey. This is the little sample size that I got when I wanted to try it out and it's still not done, so I'm gonna keep on using it. And I'm gonna go ahead and douse myself in setting powder again to set my foundation.
And then I'm gonna go in with my first round of setting spray. So this is the Urban Decay All Nighter. setting spray just brings everything back to like skin like so and then like everything is set and snatched so boom oh another thing that you can do is you can go in and pat into your skin while it's still kind of damp mine isn't really damp anymore but you can go over it so to do my brows I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty eyebrow pencil ultra fine brow pencil and style this is a medium brown um just because i don't want no like crazy to find like super dark eyebrows today at least because this brow pencil goes crazy especially with doing like natural tight brows So I'm gonna go ahead and conceal my brows with my NARS concealer because it's the darker one. I think that's as good as it's gonna get, and I'm not gonna, not gonna stress out about it. Nope, nope, no. So I'm gonna use this Milani baked blush in Berry Amour. Don't really see nothing, but I'm gonna roll with it because I can't find my usual blush. Found it! Wow, it was right here the whole time. So I'm taking my NARS Liquid Blush in Dolce Vita. I spilled it, but it's my NARS Liquid Blush in Dolce Vita. Let's get excited. So I put some on the back of my hand, and then I sheer it out. Like that. Then I take the back of my Beauty Blender, dab it twice, dab off excess. I put some on my nose as well, because I think it's cute. <laughs> And go back on the side with the foundation on it, blend it out. So I'm gonna take this caramel cutie and put that all over my eye. And before I highlight the reset. I don't think I'm gonna contour my nose. I feel like my nose looks pretty good right now, so I'm gonna take and ooh, I'm gonna let it dry down a little bit more. But I'm gonna go ahead and blend in my setting spray. Sheesh. So for highlight, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Amrezy uh, highlighter because I like it. That's why I use it. That's the only reason. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
make sure that it's blended because we do not want no streaky like patch of highlight it's not cute ready to put these lashes on. I'm gonna put mascara on, NARS Climax. Look at these lily blue. <laughs> lily lashes in the style of tees. I'm gonna go ahead and put those on. And I do two layers of blue. So they be on there. I got that tip from Jackie on it too. Oh, brow gel. Since this look is relatively natural, I'm not gonna do no like lip liner or nothing. I'm just gonna take this Fenty Beauty gloss balm in hot chocolate because that's a little bit of a brown tint to it, and I'm just gonna use that. finishing touches on my hair um, and I'm gonna get dressed and then I will be back to y'all with the final final look so I'll be back I'm gonna zoom back in what it looks so good like my titties keep falling out of this shirt like I knew this shirt was gonna like be controversial but I was like it's just gonna have to be that's just what it's gonna have to be then but I'm so excited. I knew it was gonna look cute. I just didn't think I would look this good. Um, these, uh, the hair is from Bayani Collection. Like I said before, I have two 22s. Um, I have four bundles, two 22s, 18. No, two 22s, a 20, an 18, and a 16 inch HD frontal. Um, and this is the Indian Curly. So it goes like down to here. Um, Oh my god. <laughs> so I put mousse in it. Um, all I did off camera was like run my fingers through the curls to kind of give it a little volume. And yeah, here we are. Ooh. I feel so fucking fire. Like look at me bro, look at my face. I'm so fire bro. <laughs> Ugh, I'm so fine bro what the heck i can't wait to send these to my man anyways <laughs> thank y'all so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you would like for me to do more videos like this let me know i do got more bundles on the way i'm just so excited i feel so good like i'm in such a good mood right now because i look so good um but don't forget i do have social medias i will leave them here um that way you can connect with me um uh, I don't even remember. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. We're almost at 300 subscribers. Let's get it. Let's go. Um, I appreciate every single one of y'all. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.